Welcome to this lesson on slope. Slope is a very simple idea that led to the branch of mathematics called differential calculus. First, here's some terminology. This is what the rise and the run stand for. Let's look at these three lines. We all know that the green line is the steepest of the three. Just knowing wasn't good enough. Mathematicians needed a number to describe the steepness of the line. They called this number the slope of the line. Suppose you're the mathematician. Can you think of a number that would describe the steepness of a line? Yes, Bertie. Can we use two, four, and eight? Good try, Bertie, but I'm afraid that's not going to work. Because look at this orange line. Its steepness is the same as the blue line, right? But noticing that might give us some ideas. Anyone? Yes, chipmunk. Their little triangles are the same. Can we define steepness as the rise per unit? That's very good, chipmunk. Using your idea, chipmunk, the orange and blue lines have slope one. The purple line has slope one half, and the green line has slope two. Mathematicians define the slope of a line as the ratio rise over run. They do get the same result as chipmunk. Look at the purple line. Two over four is a half. The blue line, 4 over 4 is 1. The green line, 8 over 4 is 2. Let's move on to the general case now. Here are two points in the xy plane. We'll see how mathematicians traditionally define the slope of the line through these two points. Here is the run and the rise. Can we name that green point? Its x-coordinate is the same as x2, and its y-coordinate is the same as y1. The run is therefore x2 minus x1, and the rise is y2 minus y1. The slope of this line is defined to be the change in y over the change in x. y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Yesterday I uploaded a lesson with examples using this formula, so please refer to that. Before I end this lesson, I just want to mention one more thing. There are other kinds of slopes. Instead of using differences for the y's or differences for the x's, we can take ratios, for example. That leads to many systems of calculus. Jane's husband co-created these. And scientists are beginning to discover many uses for them. So someday, maybe you'll end up taking a course in non-Newtonian calculus. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I'll see you next time. Bye.